In this video, we're going to be changing the color of a refrigerator. The first step is to prepare your refrigerator for the film that we're going to be applying. In this case, we're going to remove the handles. It'll just make it a lot easier and cleaner to install the V-wrap film over the refrigerator, otherwise we'll have to work around the handles and it makes it harder to work and also it's going to be a lot cleaner operation once you get the handle removed. The next step is to thoroughly clean your refrigerator. Everywhere where it's going to be contacting the film needs to be thoroughly cleaned and this we're using 75% isopropyl alcohol. The reason we use the isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol at 75% is because it doesn't leave a residue and if you have a residue like a Windex or an orange cleaner or some other kind of cleaner it tends to leave a film behind uh, which would affect the bonding of the adhesive from the V-wrap to the refrigerator so it's important to clean it. Right now we are entering the film to either end of refrigerator just to hold it in place so we can uh, work the film on the refrigerator. So just find two anchor points at either sides of the refrigerator and the film and just apply it so you can have something that can drape over the front of the refrigerator. We're first doing the in section, so we're going to do the top section first, uh, the refrigerator, so the freezer box, and that's a smaller area, and then we'll proceed down to the bottom portion. So right now, just applying a good anchor to the center of the film, and then once we get that centered, we can go ahead and smooth out the rest of the film. Here, just straightening out the film, making sure we have enough material above and on the side. So it's a lot better to have extra film on the sides than to be left without enough film. Um, so we have a, a pretty large piece here that we're working with. So pressing down in the center of the film to create a nice anchor to work from. And then from once we get that centered, will squeegee out the rest of the film. So you do need to use a squeegee, so don't just use this microcloth because although it looks like it's smooth, believe me, you have air underneath that film. So you want to make sure you get all the air out underneath the film. Otherwise, you're going to start getting bubbles if you don't remove all the air from underneath the film. So nice long strokes hard strokes here so we make sure that we drive out all the air and here at the end we're going to be encountering a um, like a little cover and it creates a little uh, bump in the film so this is what's happening here you can see it here on the right hand side we're going to be dealing with that a little bit later and we'll show you how to work around any kind of obstruction that you might have in the surface that you're working with. So we're going to be applying some heat a little bit later, but let's uh, work with that a little bit later. We're going to smooth out the rest and you can pull on the film and stretch it into place. So just make sure you don't stretch it. You can stretch it hard, but just the way you grip it might tear the film. In this case, we're dealing with a metallic based film and metallic tend to tear easier than other type of film so just be careful with that right now we're heating that area where we want to provide a good surface contact um, with that um, it's a little kind of covering for a screw so that we're dealing with here as you can see the film nicely hugs around that area and so the way you deal with it is to have a nice heated area so it can shrink down and here we're finished with the top area and in the back we tucked in the film so you can see here if you're good at gift wrapping you're going to be good at um, applying the the folds at the end here so now we are going to replace the handle we went ahead and applied the film on the handle 
while we had it removed from the door it just makes it a lot easier to do it that way and then later on in the video you'll see how we exactly applied the film on the handle. It's a little bit tricky but um, once you practice and you see how you can work with the heat gun it makes it a lot easier. So now we're going to proceed to apply the film to the lower part of the refrigerator. Right now again we're loosening the screws to remove the handle. Uh, sometimes if you have an old refrigerator been around for a while the screws might be difficult to remove. In this case um, I think they received a lot of condensation and water from the freezer and they're kind of rusty and very difficult to remove. The second screw, we had to actually use an easy out uh, drill bit to remove that screw. So um, that's the way that we had to remove it and we replaced it with some new screws. So right now, again, make sure you clean the refrigerator really as clean as you can. Right now, I'm tr trying to remove a... Um, what we thought was a little mark, but actually that's where the chip, where the paint chipped from the refrigerator. So uh, one of those holes is actually the hole for the handle. The other one is a chip paint, which won't really show that much because it's going to be behind the handle. Um, once you're working with a larger piece of film, it makes it a little more challenging or difficult to apply the film to the surface so we have a larger piece that we're working with and again the same concept we are going to find a couple of anchor points at the end here to um, drape our film over the door and make it easier to work with and then we know how far um, to space our film so we have enough film on either side of the refrigerator door so once you get that anchored you can peel off the uh, bottom portion of the liner. It's the protective liner that goes over the film that you will be peeling off to anchor your film to the refrigerator. Um, so you see a lot of wrinkles here. Don't worry about wrinkles at this point right now. We're just trying to get the film draped over the door and to remove it, to remove the liner. Um, so now the, the liner is being removed. Um, so it can stick to the refrigerator door. You can remove the film as many times as you like, um, as long as you don't, you know, squeegee it down. It makes it a lot easier to remove at any time. And then just anchor, find a center anchor point, and then just anchor all the way down to the center. And then from the center, you work your way outside of the film with the squeegee. So we're just using the microcloth right now to smooth out the the film in the center so we have a nice area to work with and then we'll work our way out with a speedy to remove all the air from behind the the film. So when you squeegee, make sure you apply uh, a lot of pressure. This particular squeegee, we have a felt edge and then another edge that's not felt to work in the tight areas in the back of the refrigerator. Again, we have that little kind of uh, cap cover over the refrigerator that we're going to deal with the same way that we did on the top of the uh, refrigerator, the freezer door. So again, just kind of smoothing it out and then later we're going to apply some heat to that particular area so it can hug the sides of the um, the cover. And so when you're doing your strokes on your squeegee, make sure that you stroke all the way out so the air has somewhere to go. And right now, apply enough heat where you see the film softening and it's really easy to tell. You'll see a little bit of wrinkling and then it will smooth out and it'll start to hug the sides. And just place a 
micro cloth or a soft cloth over the area so you can uh, smooth it in. Right now we're going to heat the sides of the area to make sure that we have a good coverage at the corners and nice and tucked in behind the door so you have a nice clean install. And this is where pretty much almost done here. We're just fin finalizing the back end of the refrigerator door, make sure everything's clean. Now we're going to be showing how we uh, wrap the handle. Again, isopropyl alcohol, 75%. You can use a more uh, aggressive cleaner before the isopropyl alcohol to get rid of some heavy stains or some other areas that need more aggressive cleaning. But make sure you finish with the isopropyl alcohol so you can have a nice clean contact with the adhesive. In this particular application, because you can see the handle is very curved, we have for curved surfaces, it's hard to get the film all the way around smoothly. So this is where we're going to use some more heat to soften the film. And once you do that, the film will curve itself around the particular object, in this case, the handle. So again, we're applying a good anchor point in the center. And then once we do that, you can see film. And then once it softens, you'll see it hug around the edges and you can stretch it into place with your, with your hands. You can see how smooth it is around the corner there. And the last part after you have that is to trim the, the back side so you have a nice clean install. And this is a finished product. You can choose to do the whole refrigerator. At this time, we just did the two doors to illustrate how to install the film. And they come in several colors. This particular one is a golden metalized film, but it comes in stainless steel and a lot of other different colors as well. So check it out.